Hi everyone, let's talk about here. So today we're gonna review some thousand four cells, some thousand four canister set from the web one. So some Toa Metro and uh, the one I'm gonna review is Toa Nokama. So here's the canister. Okay, here is the uh, canister itself. So here we go. As you can see, it got a cylinder shape, of course, uh, some clear color, so no gimmick at all, like the old school older. All the set, all the toy, yes, to all that, excuse me. But on here you can see uh, some uh, picture of Nokama, of course, on the front, to Nokama right in here, Bionicle logo. The fact that there is a mini CD worm in it, of course, the background is uh, um, is aquatic, or, or under the sea, excuse me. There are some information really not uh, useful. The, uh, the island of Metsuni, because remember, we're in 2004, so we uh, go in. We go in the past, back in the past, and we uh, see the adventures of the Toa Metru, which will become the Chuaga of Matanui. So anyway, here is Metunui, which uh, looks like quite similar to Matanui, but uh, more futuristic. And of course, the position of the fourth Toa, and so uh, the fourth Koro, so the, the fourth Toa, excuse me, the sixth Toa, and the sixth Koro, so the sixth region, uh, ice, fire, and stuff like that. Uh, the fact that you can have some web code when putting your uh, canister into the fridge anyway, and here's some nice uh, little pose of uh, Nokama, which looks like to the uh, object camera, really nice. And I think that's quite all, and of course you got the canister lid, uh, which will be useful to put some uh, Kanoka disc, which is a new collectible for 2004, even if the toy don't, um, the, yeah, the toy don't have Kanoka except for uh, Vakama. So, but you can put the, for example, the Vaki or the Matawan disc uh, in it. And of course, there are also a second gimmick with two uh, canister lid, but I will show you this uh, with the institution booklet. So, the institution booklet, here it is. So, you've got the same nice pose of the camera, of course. You've got the nice group pictures of all six Toa together. Uh, so, some nice uh, background for the uh, uh, steps, as you can see, with the background of Matanui and the Colosseum at the uh, middle. Then, what we have here, yeah, the fact that you have to put off the uh, arms to put the Torah into the canisters. Then, some uh, pi uh, pictures of the combiner, which is not uh, which is not a Kaita anymore. And this is one is made with uh, Nuju, Vonua, and Nokama, as you can see right here. Um, but yes, yeah, so of course we have some steps of the combiner itself. Some add for the six, uh, five other and the, so f no, not really for the five other, but for all the uh, Toa Metru. Really nice with all uh, uh, each uh, side by side. It really uh, looks uh, good, uh, nice, good pictures. Of course, these pictures are the same as the one in the front of the canister. Uh, then some pictures uh, of the background of each color, so that's really nice. I really uh, like this little picture which show you uh, how, uh, how it looks like on each color, because you can make little story with these pictures, in my opinion. So uh, it's really great uh, they, do this, uh, they do that uh, this time. But then they put off together all these little pictures in 2006. Then some Matawan as you can see, with the six Matawan also placed uh, with the uh, Coral. And then uh, tons of little stuff. So, for example, the fact that you can put your uh, two canister into a ball shape to put the matter one in it to make la to make it la look like, like the movie, for example, when Makuta or uh, can I say, yes, Chuaga uh put all the matter one into the ball anyway. Uh, 80s, you have the disc launcher pack, uh, all the discs and the disc launcher scholars. As we can see, the fact that the Toa uh, Metru can have some, also can can put this on their hands, right there. So just a little ad for the canisters and Kenoka. And here you got some ad for old school stuff like the movie or the video game, which was from 2003. And I think that's all for the canister. Uh, the it's a booklet, excuse me. But there are still some uh, uh, extras. So first of all, a little booklet. Which was also, uh, remember, used in 2002, 3, uh, 2002 with the 2F and then 2003 with the Borcal. So here we go again, a little comic. We show the one page of the Morbusac, which was the first and least, because of course, 
uh, with the Toa, which were uh, the first uh, canister of the years, they have still to defeat some uh, in kind of invisible foe because it wasn't released, released in set. So it was the Morbusak, and they uh, need the help of the Matawan to find the six great disc. Here it is, you have the Tormetus, and, and then some uh, uh, um, pictures of every Matawan with their position on the map. And then the, uh, can, the canister lead gimmick. And some art for other stuff right here. Yeah, and some good pictures of the tour. And that's not all because you also got uh, in some of this still some Kenoka cards, as you can see right here, which Nokama symbol. So I, I figured it, uh, so I figured out that I got this in Nokama. You just have to open this, and then it's a game anyway, uh, which, uh, and then I lost the game, as you can see right there. So we try again, boy. So yeah, uh, and you also have some, I think, some Kanoka point right here. And so this uh, great, uh, this instant win game was to win uh, some um, ultimate gaming system stuff, and uh, one of the f um, 500 golden discs. Which, which has a, a $50 value. So still kind of nice, this one, and some comics and stuff like that. And on the other side, yes, you just have to uh, uh, information on this. So you have this little card, and also, finally, you have the mini CD1, which has the symbol of the uh, Kanoka of... Um, no, uh, no, 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 uh, Gametru, excuse me, so symbol of Gametru, okay. Gametru Skenoka. Kind of nice. And that's all for the little extras. Just got the set itself, but it will be really fast because I've already done uh, my uh, a review on um, Toa Vakama Metru. So this is actually the same. Oh yeah, I'm gonna just. I will add, add to put some books right here to show you. One more. Okay, one more. And I think this will be nice. Okay, we have it. So it is Nokia. Our shame color is dark gray, so a new dark gray, of course, blue metro, so dark blue if you want, and some silver also. So, of course, uh, the uh, all the to have the, have the same frame and the same body, except for some difference, like for example, all this part is put to the pelvis, for example, on some toa it's put on one hole or two hole um, right here, and not on this position, and also the neck position, sometimes the head is put, for example, like here, like that. But on Nokama, she's one of the tallest, uh, I think, yes, one of the tallest toa, metro. Or maybe it's new I do not know. I don't remember. So anyway, for, to, for doing this really quick, because it's simple. Uh, yes, we're in 2004, so uh, tons of new parts introduced, tons of new parts, yes. So, of course, you have your uh, made true body frame right here, as you can see. On this, you put your... Um, um, uh, excuse me, I just have to look for something. Yes, we have to put this little part right here, which is a chest cover, and as you can see, it covers, if I can put this off anyway, yeah, excuse me, it covers the two little gears, because there are also a gear a gimmicks in the, metro series, in the metro set, so here it is. As you can see, there are two gears, so two, uh, the two arms will move when you uh, spin the little gear, the back of the Toa body. Excuse me, like that. So it's kind of a drawback for me, but I will uh, come back on this later. So you have your body, uh, your body frame right here, the chest cover, then the metro pelvis, so really a famous part, because it put two ball joints right here for the legs, so it's really a... Uh, 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 really an interesting part for the canister uh, sets. 
as you can see, you also have some new double uh, connector right here for the legs, some knee cover right here, and yes, I think it's called knee cover part, then the new metro legs, and of course, the new metro feet, or foot right there, and of course, two feet right there, and then you can have the arms, which are also made with two, uh, with one double ball joint, uh, double connector right here, excuse me, other connectors, and th but this time, as you can see, you have to put this part, which is not like your metro legs, so it has two free ball joints. It's shorter, so it's uh, really shorter than the uh, metro legs, and also a uh, simple connectors right here for the ends. And of course, you have your shoulder armor right here, which is put on this axle all, and then you put this in the gear. Oh, oh. Okay, I will do this like that anyway. And then finally, you have to put the head, so the new metro head, also new parts with the new uh, eye brain combo parts, and of course the new mask or uh, row because it's uh, the same name as the Chuaga mask, so it's row R A U. And that's all. Of course, as you can see, it's like the uh, Makuta and Takanova mask, you have uh, an axle on it uh, for to put this, to uh, make it uh, stand firmly in comparison to the older masks which were uh, used to, uh, to be put off with the little games of uh, the gears and stuff like that. And of course you have the uh, weapon, or should I say the Hydro Blades, because it's called like that. So kind of nice, as you can see, you can soft plastic parts, because it's really a thin part right here, so you can do stuff like that. And it's kind of look a month away, it will look like that. And I think that's all for uh, Toa no Kama. Right now, I'm going to talk about the articulation. So, of course, if you spin the gear at the back, you move the two arms simultaneously. But you can also move them like that on the ball joint, but it blocks at 90 degrees right there. And the hands can move freely, of course. So, there's no problem with that. Also, the head is on a ball joint, so it's really nice because it can move on the, it can look up, look down, on the side, really uh, nice, so there's no problem at all with that. Then you got uh, the um, legs, so you can move the ball joint freely, really nicely, and then this part, really more, uh, more than 90 degrees again, so it's really nice, and also for the feet. So you can really do nice pose with uh, Toa no Kama or other metros because they got all the same uh, articulation part anyway, like this for example. The only problem, of course, is the fact that the two arms move um, on the same uh, when you uh, spin the gear, it moves uh, all together, so it's kind of uh, a shame in my opinion. They could have do something like, for example, if you take Tayu or Kopaka Olda, they have one arm on the gear system and the other arm is independent and you can move it fully. But they didn't have done this for the Toa Metru, neither they have done that for the uh, uh, Toa Likan, but they have done this for the Toa Aya, which will be released in 2005. And I think that's all for Toa no Kama. So I think that's still, she's still a nice toy because, of course, they're all the same, so it's kind of hard to tell which is the best, uh, than, uh, which is the better one. But I especially like the mask. Uh, at first, I wasn't really a fan of this mask, but uh, I think it's still nice. It has some nice uh, trans, uh, trans dark blue color, as you can see. So uh, the tools are also really uh, kind of nice. A little, uh, I think the design is pretty good for some uh, aquatic uh, toa for some uh, uh, tour of water, in my opinion. And the, I like the, um, yeah, the color shame is kind of nice because I know that the, you can put uh, all the new dark gray everywhere and it will look kind of okay. But I think that with the blue metal, it really looks nice, in my opinion. So, uh, nice tour. The only drawbacks I have with that, of course, is the two geared arms. I really do not like that. Also, the metal arms are kind of bad because, as you can see, they are really short, in my opinion. So you can't uh, move them really nice. 
So I think that the attitude, the gear system plus the fact that they are shot makes them one of the worst arm ever with the arm, like for example, the asymmetrical arm of uh, the Ordica or the Puaka, the um, left, uh, yeah, it's the left arm which is asymmetrical and which is kind of bad. So it's uh, kind of the same ones as, uh, as this type of arms. And I think that's all, but still overall, it's pretty well articulated. Of course, it's a follow up with the waxes, which were also really well articulated. So it's, I think it's normal that it's uh, nice articulated. So really nice. And I think I can, uh, yeah, I think it's all about your opinion, which one, which toy metro you prefer. So I think that Snokama is still a good choice anyway, in comparison to Vakama, for example. And that's all. So that was my review on uh, 12 Nokama. I, uh, yeah, I think I've said everything I have to say for this one. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Maybe I'm going to do a little better pause with her. And oh, of course, you can put a weapon on her back. And there's two parts right there. There's two pins. And here we go. So I'm just going to do Like that. And yeah, so that was my review on Toa Nokama. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you later for another Benicale video review. Bye bye.